Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth video in this video series. In case you missed it, we've been breaking down the NIST cybersecurity framework to better explain each function and how you could use them to improve your cybersecurity posture. In the last video, we were chatting about the detect function and how it's so critical for catching those hackers that sneak past your preventive security measures. In this video, we're gonna dive into the NIST function that I think carries equal weight, and that is respond. We always hear the saying that, hey, cybersecurity attacks, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And as cliche as that sounds, there's real truth to it. And that's why the respond function is so important, because that gets into how we really react and respond when a cyber attack occurs. It focuses on taking the appropriate action when a threat is detected. You can see how all these functions start to intertwine, because your ability to respond to a threat happening depends on your ability to detect that a threat is actually happening. And in addition to taking action, the respond function also includes how you go ahead and contain the incident. A lot of the nitty gritty here depends on a lot of the same factors that come in detection. The visibility and information that you can gather will better steer the ship as to how you respond and what you can restrain. All that visibility clues you in on the scope and severity of the active incident. Alongside that, we start to move into the conversation that is again relying on proactive procedures. You needed to have already built out an incident response plan so that when it's game time, you know what you're going to do when, at what stage of the incident. That means who does what, who is in charge of leading what effort, who communicates to who and how. This becomes a bit of a balancing act. You need to still manage, yes, of course, the people and personnel and policy and procedure portion, but the technical aspect is just as important. You need to have the levers and switches that you can move and pull and adjust to do rapid isolation or quarantine and respond and react and recover, soon to be, all in the fallout of this incident. When done right, this stage, this function in the NIST cybersecurity framework, this can be the deciding factor as to whether or not you make it out A-OK, -okay, maybe a couple battle scars and wounds, or the hackers have ransomed all your data, they've exfiltrated information, sold it out on the dark web, and gained control and offered that as initial access brokers. How you respond could be what makes or breaks your business. One way or another, you will have to move on. And that brings us to our next and final video in the series of the NIST cybersecurity framework covering the last function, recover. All about how you can get back into business after a cyber attack. Stay tuned.